Falafalava, my name is Baby Nansen. Yo, so my name is Roman. Hi, my name is Lolo. Fakalofalayatu ki amatoloosi ki ngā haku kotu kumulin. And I will be representing Team Samoa. I'll be representing Tonga. I'm representing Nui. I'm representing Tonga for uh, the Pacific Games. My name is Rain and this is my dad. <laughs> My preparation was about 12 weeks and really hard. I'm currently almost sitting at my fight week. I'm hoping that when I get to the Solomon Islands, I get to lose more weight and then I get to eat all the island food. <laughs> yeah, the last like three weeks I've been on diet. Ah, oh, man, I'm missing Big Macs, missing Domino's pieces. Uh, but it's just been full-time training, it's like three, four times a day. But yeah, it's been non-stop grind and just leading up to this fight. My preparation has been five months. I had to have some fights so I can uh, be eligible to fight for Tonga. We didn't know that we had to um, have fights in Tonga, but one of the coaches, they asked my dad if your son wanted to fight for Tonga. And he, he asked me, do you want to fight for Tonga? And I said, I, I would love to fight for Tonga. I had to wake up uh, six in the morning, train, conditioning, uh, training with dad. You know, it's been good. I get to spend more time with dad. It's, it's, it's nerve wracking, I'll tell you that, that, I'll be honest. But he's been training hard. Lolo's coaching me at the moment, yeah, the master Lolo. My first day of like training and testing was, I think it was my birthday, August. So we've been going hard for about, since like our 12th now. You know, we do the hills, we do the endurance, we do the, the sparring, with high quality, fast paced uh, shark tank. But you know, I'm going to get your batch of training. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I've been prepping for this ever since I won the Tongan Nationals. So that's how I qualified for uh, South Pacific Games. Yeah, pretty much ever since then, I've been, I've been training for this. I think it's been about, about a month, maybe just over. To qualify, I needed to go to Samoa. I went there to take on their 60kgs uh, boxer and I won. I won my fight there, so um, I was qualified for Team Samoa then. I said to my dad, you know, I, w I, w I wanna, I wanna take you to Pacific Games, Olympic Games, and I'm the first one to take him to the Pacific Games. So it's, it's a dream. I think this will be the final qualifier. So um, if I do well here, we get selected to go to represent uh, Samoa for the Olympics um, in Paris, which is pretty cool. This is pretty much make or break if I go to the Olympics or not. I feel like I got a shot. Uh, hopefully, I'll take this out, be all the South Pacific, and then uh, that'll be my ticket to the Olympics. And then, yeah, from there, hopefully, get that gold medal. Right now, I'm just focus on um, the first fight at Pacific Games and take it fight by fight. I never look past any fight. This is an Olympic qualifying tournament, but Newark can't qualify for the Olymp Olympics, so we're in non-qualifying weight classes. We'd only been training for about like nine weeks, get told that news, so then it's like, just go win a gold medal in the non-qualifying weight classes, and then just see what happens after that. So this tournament, because this is like, just to make a statement. It's been so hard, so, so hard. I've been training in a sweatsuit. <laughs> because I'm sweating, my, my strength starts to go in my training, my power, there's no sting in my punches. But because I've been doing it for a while, um, I've now started adapting to, to the heat. So I'm hoping when I go to the Solomon Islands, I'll be able to train in that heat and fight there as well. Like last week, I started wearing hoodies and stuff for my trainings, but man, that, that really takes it out of you. Lolo's been making us um, train in like, jackets and track pants. I, I hate it. <laughs> Sauna suits, uh, uh, um, oxygen masks, everything that helps me, you know, accommodate to the heat over there. If I'm dying in a suit suit, I'll probably be dying over there. <laughs> so. It means the world to me. You know, ever since I was young, I wanted to fight for Tonga. It doesn't feel real, <laughs> to be honest. You know, Getting this chance to fight for Tonga, it's, it's once in a lifetime. Oh, it's ultra special. 
Um, I'm, I'm absolutely honoured to be representing my, um, my country. It makes it special for me because I get to represent like who I am. It's just to represent for every New Year. You know, there's not many of us out here. No one's leading the people, so we might as well do something. Because obviously, Dad's Tongan, and he's my coach, so I, you know, uh, got the tattoo and everything. Got it when I was 18. Same as my dad. Uh, like most of the boxing teams, Tongan, it's good to have that culture around. Yeah, I just yeah, I'm, I'm happy to represent my hometown. I'd like to say um, just um, tune in if you can and if you have a dream just go for it no matter what people say. Um, just stay true to your goals, true to your dreams and just keep chasing it until you get it. All I wanted to do was fight for Tonga and now that I get this dream, uh, I just want to make you guys proud. Just keep following me, keep supporting me and um, I'll make you guys proud and I'll do it for us, do it for our people. It's not an easy task but you know, that's why we train like we never trained before. We, we, we left no stone unturned. Watch this. <laughs> Watch this.